What's going on everybody? This is James White with Frequent Interviews, bringing you As Seen on TV product reviews, gadget reviews, and more. Now, if you like what you see in this video, please consider subscribing for more videos like this. Now, today I've got three wearable, portable fans. These bad boys just came in from Amazon. Three completely different designs. Let's see if any of them work in today's video. Now what I've got here are three similar fans, but they're not quite the same. This one is a waist hanging fan. This one wraps around your neck and this one hangs around your neck. I've seen at least two of these being advertised online, so I figured I would get the three choices from Amazon I thought might have the best chance of success and compare them side by side. So let me crack them open and see how they look. First up, the waist hanging fan. By the way, this is a lot smaller box than I expected from the pictures, but, but that doesn't mean anything, right? Okay, well, we'll get some uh, high tech looking batteries just popped out of here. Nice plastic device and uh, some, uh, some instructions. Install one battery, so you get an extra battery. That's actually pretty nice. And as you can see, this has a clip that will go on your belt and the fan will blow upward. I'm gonna try it inside and outside of my shirt and see which one works, if either. It's like this goes through, it cycles four times. Low, medium, high, and off. Oh, we have fan. We have fan. Is that low? Oh, that's medium. Oh, it's grinding sounding. Oh. Wow, that doesn't sound like the healthiest fan, but hey, you know, it might work. You can use it while charging. That's actually a good feature, and uh, let me see what else. I guess that's, uh, I guess that's about it, so uh, that'll be the first one. Now let's see what's next. This one's called the wearable sports fan, and it goes around your neck. Okay, a very small charging cable. It's pretty compact. These appear to come outward like this. That's kind of cool, and you blow right at your face. Ooh. Oh, it's on much quieter. That's medium, it sounds like. Oh, hot. Oh, yeah. Hey, I'm kind of, this fan is definitely a lot quieter than the other one. So uh, they can fight that out all they want, but right now this one's much quieter, but it's got a long way to go, obviously. And finally, this one uh, is the only one that has aromatherapy built into it. So that's an extra feature if that's your thing. Got a lot of stuff in here. We got a cable. Uh, we'll figure that out. It's like a lanyard, they got a battery, another one of these things. Thank you, thank you for having instruction, that's great. Uh, I like how it says user manual. It, does that really count as a manual? It's, it's, it's one small piece of paper. It doesn't even open, that's, that's it. It's, that's a manual? I don't know if I'd use the word manual. I like how number three says this fan hanging in his chest very clear what that's supposed to mean. I guess hang around your chest? Who's he and why does he have my fan? Oh, this has a, a turning, a, a dial here from low, low to high. Okay, I like that. Okay, now where does the aromatherapy go here? And what are these? All right, time for the first test. This is just kind of my first look test to see how they function. I'm not gonna do the, the power test until I've fully charged them because they're right out of the box. They may not have full charges. So let me just put them on, see how they work and then I'll go on to uh, additional tests. First up, we're gonna do the waist hanging fan. This is supposed to just clip on your, on your pants like that. I feel like I'm wearing some 90s, uh, I feel like I got an old school beeper on. Page me, guys. Anybody, give my, my pager number. I don't mean, put this fan on, see what we got here. I don't really feel too much out here. I guess I feel it, let me put it in my shirt. Oh, I feel it in my shirt. I almost like that better. It's kind of loud, it's only on low. Well, I definitely feel that. All right, well, hey, I'm feeling it. It's blowing, it's, I can feel it come up here. Let me try that under the shirt. I feel that too, although it's just blowing hot air. Oh, look at this. Oh, Billy doesn't, Billy doesn't know anything about this. Just first use, it seems like it kind of works as expected. Now let's try the 
face fan. I guess that's what you call it. Gotta remember where the button's at. All right, way quieter. And the fans are right up in your face. Oh yeah, I like this one. Because I, I like having the breeze on my face, I guess most people would. Down there on the waist, it's kind of has to travel a big, pretty big distance. This I definitely feel, and it's quieter. How does it look? If you saw someone walking down the street with this, would you think anything about it? I'm not sure that aesthetically it looks great hanging around your neck, but functionally it seems like it, they're onto something here. And next, looks like I got a camera, like a tourist, I got a camera on my waist. All right, what do we got here? I feel like I'm uh, on vacation wearing this around my neck. Let's see what we got here. All right, well, my chin is nice and cool. Right down there, it feels great. Right here? By the time it gets top of my head, it's kind of dissipated already. Well, what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to, I'm gonna plug these in and make sure they're fully charged. And then I'm gonna take these out in the field and go uh, on the desert where it's nice and crisp out there and uh, put them to a real test. And by the way, if I can go off on a tangent for one second, this is probably the point where a lot of reviewers, reviewers on YouTube, would say, hey, they work great, they use them for 30 seconds. That's not what I do here. As you guys know, I'm just scratching the surface. Who could I be talking about? It's hard to say. Maybe I won't put this in the video at all. Even still, even when I put uh, products through the ringer, I still get people say I should have done something different or I didn't do it right. So you can never win on YouTube. But I definitely put them through more of a ringer than other reviewers out there do, in most cases. Next up, field test. All right, they're all charging here. Waist fan blinking, hanging neck fan blinking, and this one uh, is not blinking. Once they're fully charged, take them outside. All right, lights not blinking anymore, lights not blinking anymore, and lights blue. So these three are done. There are a few things I love more than testing out cooling products out here in the desert when it's hot outside. The current temperature right now, I believe, is 102 degrees. So what I'm going to do is uh, walk out here in the desert for a little bit and try each one of these fans. Now, not to be forgotten, from May of 2019, this is the same place I tested this out, the Arctic hat. That's right, I'm bringing this one back. I'm gonna use this to uh, keep my head shaded. By the way, you know, I, oh, it's so stylish looking, isn't it? By the way, I've noticed that uh, over time, it seems like when it's not wet, it, it seems to have shrunk. So the Arctic hat seems like it's tighter when it's not wet. Well, I guess that's a minor point, but I wish I could, this would go down. We'll start from the bottom to the top. We'll go to the waist and the neck hanging one and the one that goes around your neck. Not too much of a breeze out here, so we'll see if these fans make much of a difference. I'm looking forward to it. Here we go. All right, first up is the waist hanging fan. There's a mild breeze out here. It's a hot breeze though, so we'll see if this makes a difference. There it goes. Gonna walk around for a few minutes with this one. See how it does. One thing I'm noticing is when I walk, it's sometimes points at me and sometimes it doesn't as I take steps. See like like that, not so much here, yes. I don't really feel too much either. What if I should put it in the very front? Well that doesn't look very good, does it? Alright, so be honest, what do you think about it being in the front? How does that look? No? It's very loud. And I'm not feeling a great deal of breeze from it, really. It's just Oh and my shirt is pretty good. I'm gonna leave it in my shirt. It actually feels better. That way you, should, you don't see it as much. It's pretty loud though. But I'm gonna keep hiking. In the shirt is better than out of the shirt. I think it's just too far away. I mean, it's, it's a couple of feet away from your face, so in your shirt at least you can kind of feel it blowing around in there. I just heard a noise out here. I don't know what that noise was. Let me turn this loud fan off. Oh my God, that was just low. That was just on low, was that loud? I just heard a weird sound out here. What was that? I think it's just evolved in an episode of Ghost Hunters or something. Shh, quiet. Back to my fan, I'm gonna put it on high this time. Wow, do you hear that? So loud. It doesn't sound like it's a good fan. I, mean, I do like another shirt though. It's just so loud. I will say though that on high, I do feel it pretty well under my shirt. So I'm happy with that in that respect. That's about the only thing I'm happy about with this one. And here we go. Right, this is all the way up, much quieter. This is the fan necklace. Yeah, I definitely feel this one more than the other one. It's blowing right on my chin. If you want the coolest chin, well, hiking to the outback. This is it. I 
my watch where I'm going. This one is definitely working better. I can feel it right in my face. It's almost too much against my body because it's all that breeze is right there. It's almost like a canteen. It's, uh, it's quieter than the first one, and I feel it by my face more than the first one. So not too bad. Let's try the third one. It's so hot out here that my camera overheated, so I had to come back to the car and cool it off before I do the third one. So, uh, yeah, it's definitely warm out here. Now that the camera's cooled back off again, I'm going to go out there and do the third one before this thing overheats again. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah. Even with a breeze, I feel this one. It feels like I've got a drone around my neck. But with the waist one, when I was walking over here with the slight breeze, I could barely feel it. With these right in my face, even with a slight breeze, I can feel them. And it's quieter. And you've got two fans instead of one. I'm still liking this one. You go over here with this less breeze, I test it out a little bit more. Yeah, even, uh, even with the breeze, these right here against my face, turn that off so you can hear me. Even with the breeze, with these so close to my face, they're certainly effective. Now, people might stare at you, they might laugh, they might snicker, point their fingers, but hey, you're gonna be cooled off anyways, right? Now, I kinda wish all of these had some sort of evaporative cool and they would blow like moist air at you, but that's not in the cards for these fans. But right now, I've got an early favorite, I think you know which one that is, but let's do a few more tests before we wrap this thing up. I felt it with the breeze, I feel, especially now where there is no breeze. It's right in my face, and you can adjust them. Oh, this is awesome. I kind of like this one. I don't care how it looks. I don't care. I'm comfortable. That's all that matters when you're boiling out here in the desert, right? Why am I still filming? Let's go back home. So what my walk yesterday taught me is that if you're outside and there's any breeze at all, these fans are kind of not very efficient. So what I thought I would do is bring them inside where I'm not moving around. There's no wind at all, so it's completely dead air in here. It's a little bit stuffy because even though I got my air running, it's still pretty warm outside. It's supposed to be 106 today. And air conditioning can only do so much. So while I'm sitting on my laptop here, I think I'm going to put one of these fans on and try it out and then rotate through all three of them. Let's try that. First up, waist fan. All right, so what I'm going to have to do here is, is kind of a angle it so it's blowing on my face here. I guess it's working. All right, let me get my laptop. Do some work here. It's a little bit loud. And this is on low. Let me put it on high. Whisper quiet. That's right. All right, I'm going to... Work on my laptop for about 15 minutes with this one on, and rotate through all three of them. What? Oh, he didn't say anything. I will say I do feel it. It's blowing right through my arm into my face, so I do feel it. It's a pretty good breeze. The only problem is my, my chest is getting the bulk of it. I'm getting more cool air on my chest than on my face. But I'm feeling it. What if I put on my shirt? Oh, wow. That's good. I like it in my shirt better. By the way, look who just came in here. Bailey, come here. Come here. Look at Bailey just came in here. You good girl. Good girl. Let's see what Bailey thinks about it. Oh, she doesn't like it. She doesn't like it. She didn't like it. You get that breath off me. Get that breath off me. I guess it kind of worked. I just, when you're sitting down here, it's blowing across your body. I don't know. I don't like this part of my body being cooled off as much as my face. So let's move to the next one now. I got a lot of work to do. I need to get cooled off here. Here we go. Ah, it feels nice. Back to my laptop here. Got a lot of work to do. See, now this one, I'm all the cool air is going right there, which actually feels pretty good. You can't really adjust it that much. It's just kind of wherever it's going to be angled. Let's see what we got here. I got a lot of stuff on Amazon to order, man. This next month is going to be busy. You guys wouldn't believe how many things I've ordered. I think I ordered 29 things this week just from Amazon. All right, well, that's, that was pretty good. Not bad, and it's much quieter, even on the highest setting. Time for the face fan. All right, again, it feels like two drones in your face. You know what's weird is that they're, they're not really making the same frequency sound, so I'm hearing like a little bit of like weird stereo effect of different, slightly different frequencies. But what's cool about this one, no pun intended, is that uh, you can adjust it exactly where you want it to go. That is significantly cooler than the others as far as my perception of the air blowing on my face goes. I like the lower setting better because unlike the, the waist fan which has to go that far, this one only has to go about that far to your face. My question is, would you walk around in public with these on your neck? People probably don't even know what they are. They almost look like, a, like headphones put on wrong or something. I don't know. What do you think? Yeah? No? Yes? No? Honestly, I wouldn't care. If I was in an office and it was hot and stuffy in there and I had these blown air on my face, I wouldn't really care. 
I think what I'm going to do next is uh, charge these up and test out the battery life and see how long each one lasts. That might make a difference to some people. Let's do that next. Next up, I've got all three of these freshly charged. And I've got my stopwatch here and I'm going to put them all on and see which one lasts the longest just running them on high. So let's do that right now. And we're off. It's very loud. Very, very loud. Let's see which one lasts the longest. I actually put this one on the side because the intake's back there and that was probably not a good way to have it on here. So I, it's moving around so much. Look at this. So I put it on the on upside down mouse pad to keep it in place. But uh, I think this is a more efficient way for this one fan to run. All right, we're at 13 minutes. They're still going. Still going strong. I'm happy with it so far. Very loud. Very, these are much quieter. Whisper quiet. Oh, it just turned off. It just turned off. Oh, it died. At 31 minutes, it just croaked. Let's see how much quieter it is now. All right, well, we'll see how the other two go. But this one died right around 31 minutes when I was showing you how quiet the other ones were. All right, we're at the two hour and 17 minute mark. And this one, as you can see, it's flickering, but it did just go off. So the face fan is still seems to be going strong. It wins the battery life competition. All right, it's been two hours and 44 minutes and this fan finally conked out. This one went first, then that one. And this is the winner of the longevity test. I want to point out on the Sky Genius, AKA the neck fan, that uh, these little styrofoam filling discs are where the aromatherapy happens. You uh, place it in this holder right here and it stays in place. It doesn't really fall out because it's kind of wedged in there. You put your, uh, your oils on here and you do get the aromatherapy effect. It works pretty well. Well, I've got a development that happened overnight. After charging the waste fan, it still doesn't work. That's right. I, this, I even tried the extra battery they included. It is not working. It's dead. So even though I think it only lasted an hour and a half, really what happened was it died after an hour and a half with no resuscitation. The waste fan has croaked and it's out of the competition. You get out of here. But not unlike Willy Wonka who continued after Augustus Gloop fell into the chocolate stream, we're going to continue with the two remaining fans for one final test. And that is to give you a visual of how well they work. Let's do that right now. And that's for the return of the emo hair for the final two fans. No, it's not Chris Gaines, guys. I didn't really like that other fan anyways. It was too loud. So the neck fan. This is all the way up. You can see how the hair is blowing. I think my chin is actually blocking most of the air. If I move it away from my chin, look at this. I wish you could hold it out a little bit further somehow, because that would be a little bit better, wouldn't it? Down here, nice cool chin and neck. I don't know if I need that or not. Next up, the drone looking what I call face fan. Now they say you're supposed to not have your hair down when you're wearing this. I don't think my hair is long enough here. But look at this, I can adjust it however I want it. Ah yes. I can have it out to the sides. I clearly think that the face fan is the most versatile. Now, is it the most stylish? Probably not. But I don't think any of them really are. I think I've got enough information to wrap this up. So yeah, the, uh, the waist fan is kind of a waste. But I think I used it enough to be able to tell if I liked it or not. I think even without dying, this one would have ended up third place for me anyways. This is too far away from your face. When you're walking around, it's moving like this so the fan isn't really hitting you. It works better when it's underneath your shirt, but even still, sometimes your shirt blocks off the fan. I just think this is not a great choice. Despite the fact this one was the loudest of all the units, even if it wasn't loud, I'd still pick this one third place. Next up, the neck hanging fan. I think this one, uh, it's not a bad option, but my problem is because the angle it's at, you're really just blowing air on your chin and neck and which I guess is fine, but it doesn't really cover your face, which is where most people want the fans to blow. The aromatherapy, I guess, has limited appeal, but to me, this one is a solid second place. Clear favorite here. The face fan or whatever you want to call it. It's adjustable. It's the quietest. It lasted the longest as far as the batteries go. I think this is definitely by far the choice. Now, it may not be the most stylish one to wear, but who cares if you're comfortable, right? It's comfort over style especially when you live out in the desert in the summertime. Have you guys tried any of these fans? Tell me what you think in the comments below. Please follow my social profiles for progress pictures, videos as I go. And please subscribe for more product reviews from me, James White, with Freaking Reviews. Gotta get my emo hair right here.